Hello, so today we'll be talking about Euler's method. So what is Euler's method? Well, the definition of Euler's method is repeatedly using tangent lines to approximate values for solutions of differential equations. So basically Euler's method is simply in more basic terms is a tool that we use in calculus to approximate values for solutions um, in differential equations. Um, before you might have used tangent line approximation, but this is for a little more complex questions and problems that you will be given in calculus. So let's look at some algebra that will help us understand what is behind Euler's method. So Euler's method is something that we use when we are given um, a derivative function and a starting point. So let's say that you're given that y equals f of x and we know the slope or derivative of a function in terms of x and y for all x and y's, all x and y values. And we also know the starting value of the, of the original function that's represented by x sub naught and f of x sub naught. And we are also given a fixed distance or interval delta x. So what do we do with all this information? So in Euler's method, we are basically approximating values. So we'll use all that information to here to approximate x sub 1 and f of x sub 1. So basically to approximate these values, you'll have to use the starting point and the slope of the starting point where x sub 1 equals x sub naught plus delta x. So this kind of looks confusing because we're only looking at the algebraic terms, but once we actually do a problem with real values, it'll make a lot more sense. Um, but anyways, continuing on. In Euler's method, we can also, we can approximate values further and further. That's why we r repeatedly use um, like tangent lines. So as you can see, if we were to approximate x of 2 and f of x of 2, we would just use the previous point that we got and the slope of that previous point, um, and we'd use this equation to find that value of, of x sub 2. So uh, this equation right here, this looks familiar to us, don't you agree? Well, yep, um, it looks like this equation. The, this is what you'd use um, in earlier calculus to find, to, to write your tangent line equations of functions. But in Euler's method, we are looking at functions, so we write this in function notation, which, as you can see, here. Let's zoom that in. Yeah. So here we are finding f, f of x sub 1, and we use the starting point, as you can see, and the slope of the starting point times the change in x. And if you wanted to go to another step and find x sub 2, f of x sub 2, you'd have to use this point that you got from this origin, from this, from the previous equation, and find the slope of that point times the change in x, and you just continue and continue with other, um, with other steps to find whatever f of x value that you are going for. As you can see, though, that these values, the x values inside the function, change while the delta x's stay the same, and you will see that in this example that we will use. Okay, so let's do an example. Suppose that we have dy dx equals 1 plus 3xy plus y squared, y equals f of x, and y of 0 equals negative 1. Approximate y of 3 using Euler's method and delta x equals 1. So how would we do this? Well, what I like to do is write what we know. So we know that Let's get a good angle here. We know that dy dx equals 1 plus 3xy plus y squared. We know that um, y of 0 equals negative 1. And we know that delta x equals 1. And we know that we're using Euler's method, so we have to use these equations. So I'll just write um, this. Actually, yeah, I'll write this um, up here so we can 
use this as a reference. So Euler's method is f of x formed approximates to f the starting point, the y value of the starting point, plus the slope, which I will write as m, because I don't want to write um, that the algebraic notation for that, or the function notation of that, it's too long. And delta x times delta x. So that is our Euler's method equation. So we will just constantly use this as a reference so we know what we're doing. So, um, and the question is asking to approximate y of three. So what does this equal? So according to Euler's method, according to this, we have to find um, our first approximation by using the, start, the y value of the starting point plus the slope of the starting point times the delta x. So what would this value be here? So actually, to find this value, you would, some people might think, oh, y of 3. Okay, no, you wouldn't put this as y of 3 because we have an interval of x, delta x. So our first interval actually would be y of 1 because our first interval from y of 0 would be to um, using delta x of 1 would be y of 1 because you're going up a step. And then the next one would be y of 2, then y of 3 because then you'd have three um, intervals or steps to do to get to y of 3. And that's the purpose of Euler's method, to repeatedly use these tangent lines to find or to approximate this value. Okay, now our y value of the starting point, which is negative 1, plus the slope of the starting point. So what I like to do, I just like kind of go to the side where m equals dy dx of what? Yep, the starting point, which is 0, negative 1, equals 1 plus 3 times 0, because x um, is 0, times negative 1, because y is negative 1. That would be 0 plus negative 1 squared. So that would be 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is 2. So our slope would be 2 times delta x. And we are given delta x, which is 1. So y of 1 approximates to be 1. So are we done yet? No, because we found the approximation of y of 1, not y of 3. So now we have to approximate y of 2. So what would be this, this value? This would be the y value of the previous tangent line, which is 1. So basically when you're doing Euler's method, you just plug in the, um, you plug in the y value and the slope of the previous function, the previous um, equation. So this would be 1 plus the slope of um, this point, which is 1, 1. So let's do that over here again. So m equals dy dx 1, 1, which is, so let's just plug in 1 and 1 up here. 1 plus 3 times 1 times 1, which is 3 plus 1. So 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5. So our slope for this one is 5 times delta x, which is 1. So y of 2 approximates to be 6. Now we have one more step to go. So that would be y of 3, our last step. And this will give us our answer. Approximates, so what do we put in here? We put in 6 because it is the y value of the previous um, tangent line plus the slope of the previous tangent line, which is, um, since our point is 2, since our point is 2, 6, we plug that into our derivative function. Let's do that over here. And um, equals dy dx of 2, 6 equals, so plug in, no, 1 plus 3 times 2 times 6, 
3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 6 is 36, so 1 plus 36 plus 6 squared, which is 36, so 1 plus 36 plus 36 is 73. So the slope is quite big actually, it is 73. So we just put that in right here and times 1 because delta x is 1. This approximates to be 6 plus 73, which is 79. So that is our answer. Y of 3 approximates to be 79. And that right there is Euler's method. I hope you learned a lot. Um, watch my next video for another example. And yeah, that's Euler's method.